we are also able to transmit both power and the data signals over only two wires. Wait, so you've got power and two-way data only on two wires? Exactly. All right, same so with IP Exchange. We're at the IC House uh, booth at uh, Sensor and Test on the third day. Um, I'm here with Marcel. He's uh, walked over and uh, while looking at this rather interesting uh, long distance communication demo. So uh, Marcel, can you uh, tell me a little bit about what this is about? I've, I think I've seen it online before, but um, it'd be cool to see it in person. Okay. Yeah, I would like to show you the demonstration. So what we have right here is a long distance communication, for example, between microcontroller units. That means that we have a 100 meter cable um, in between two components which um, act as a bridge component. And then there is a microcontroller on both sides, so we have a communication between the microcontroller units. Um, the main feature about this technology that we call this line um, is that we have a robust communication, so we are able to correct errors that have been um, that have been introduced during the communication, and we are also able to transmit both power and the data signals over only two wires. Cool. So, um, can you give us a demonstration of what's going on here and just explain um, mm -hmm. what's going on? Absolutely. I, I know. I noticed you turning that a second ago, and it was working on this end, but. Absolutely. So what we have right here is a magnetic sensor okay. which detects the position. And the position is then transferred over the transmission line to, the, to a control unit, which then um, um, makes the motor rotate. So what we have right here is the basic example of a sensor um, detection, and that's transmission and usage on the motor side. What we also have here. Oh, yeah, can I'm not yet finished. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what we also have here is a um, acceleration sensor, okay. which is um, connected on that side of the transmission line. So we are not only able to transmit the position from that side mm. to this side, but also we detect the acceleration of the sensor and transmit it back to this side. Wait, so you've got power and two way data only on two wires? Exactly. So <laughs> Okay, wow. Cool. Yeah, so we combine on, yeah. on the host side, we mm. combine the power and the data. We use a very basic, no, that's not the one, a very basic network. So we modulate the power and the data signal and then transmit it over the transmission line. And on the other side, we decouple power and the data signals and then can use, the, can use both power and data. Excellent. So I see that uh, there's construction machinery as one of the possible applications. What exactly. other applications do you see this kind of uh, um, used in? Very typical also um, encoder applications. Okay. So if you have a robot and you want to reduce the cabling, mm -hmm. then of course you can use a two wire instead of what we currently have, six wires okay. for power and data. So that's a very typical yeah. application. Okay. Um, motor feedback in general okay. is a typical application. So you don't necessarily have to use it for long distance. You, exactly. So you can also use it for simplifying your cabling. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Just reduce the cabling and also simplifies the production. Mm. If you have only two wires, yeah. it's easier to produce a component than if you have to um, connect six wires. Yes. Cool. Um, so in terms of uh, our audience is primarily design engineers, if they wanted to uh, test, test this technology for use in their application, is, <laughs> is this the evaluation board they would use or is it, does it come like as a, a kit? Yeah. So we have two evaluation boards, okay. but the component, the bridge component mm. is the same on both okay. evaluation boards. This is mainly for connecting BC sensors, so it's another protocol used in motor feedback application. But if you um, want to use other interfaces, for example, SPI okay. or I, I squared C, then this is the demonstration board that you can use. Nice. Um, and um, are those available at the moment? They are available as well as samples for the component ICBL. It's all available. And maybe we can take a look over here. Oh, yes. So we also have an adapter. OK. Um, some of our customers already know these adapters from our standard BC components. Okay. And we have also introduced an adapter for this line. 
So it's very simple to get started using our adapter, evaluation board, and also the software graphical user interfaces. Cool. Um, in terms of those graphical in user interfaces, is that similar to what we saw over there, or is there um, what kind of what does that look like? Okay, this is more or less for a demonstration. Mm -hmm. So to get an overview, mm -hmm. if you um, want to evaluate the component, you go into detail. So okay. you have access to the configuration parameter, to um, the EEPROM for storage, and um, it's graphical, so it's mm -hmm. quite easy to access the parameters and configure them um, according to your needs. Cool. And just wondering, um, what kind of speeds can you get uh, in terms of the, um, the communication? OK. So the frequency or mm -hmm. data rate is fixed. It's fixed to 12.5 uh, megabit per second, Okay. Um, which is uh, perfect for our um, um, main focus. So on the encoder applications, because there you typically have uh, frequencies up to 10 megahertz, mm -hmm. and this corresponds perfectly to the 8-bit, 8 8-bit, uh, 10-bit coding okay. on the this line transmission. Cool. Well, um, thank you very, very much. That was thank very you. interesting. So another piece of content from Sensor and Test. I see House. Pretty cool company. I do remember seeing them pop up on my feed, but it was really cool to actually see their BIS line demo in practice because, um, yeah, two line communication for MCUs and sensors and like, just general control. That's something that couldn't really clear up the spaghetti inside your robot design. So, um, yeah, go and check out the full article on IP Exchange and apply to evaluate the technology.